And we continue with our live interviews as well. Once again, thanks very much for joining us uh, at Leafs TV and MapleLeafs.com, live streaming throughout the day. John Abbott with now Luca Caputi. Uh, Luca, thanks very much for taking some time out of a busy schedule today uh, to join us and the fans. Uh, thanks for having me. How has it gone so far today? Have you done the physical testing yeah. side of things? No, I'm done. I just have a couple interviews here, and then I'm done. It was, it was a good little morning there, tough little workout, but you know, we got to do it. It's the start of the year. But that's, and that's right. That's probably the best part that you know, even though it's the testing, it's, it's geared up because you're, you're going to be hitting the ice soon, right? Yeah, tomorrow morning we start on ice, and then we play Monday night, so it's really quick turnaround from here. Excited about this season with uh, with the Maple Leafs? Yeah, exactly. I, you know, it was a tough year. I had a couple surgeries last year, so I just want to stay healthy and you know give it my all, and hopefully I'm there at the end. How did that affect your off season, Luca? Yeah, uh, I was you know rehabbing for most of it. It didn't start really working out till July, and then I really put put my foot down, and you know I really had to get into into shape in such a short period of time. So. Uh, Anthony Bell's a strength and conditioning coach working me every day and you know I've come a long way and I'm, I'm proud of where I'm at right now. There's, it seems like there's a good group of young players that are uh, on the up and coming. Uh, proud to be part of a, a group that's you know looked to in that direction? Yeah for sure. Um, we got a lot of young guys here that like to play, like to be around each other. You know it's, it's like a big family. It's pretty fun to come to the rink here so you know if, if I can be a part of it I'm gonna give it my all and, tr and try to do that. We were talking a little bit uh, about uh, the first NHL game. It was in Montreal all for you, which is another crazy Canadian yeah. city. I'm sure you'll never forget it. Can you tell us that experience? Yeah, it was it was surreal. Um, you know, just one day you're in Waltzbury, Pennsylvania. The next day you're at the Bell Center in front of 22,000 people. Um, you know, uh, starting to sink in now. A couple years later, of uh, how how special that moment was for me. But uh, you know. Thankful to the Penguins for giving me the opportunity and happy to be a Leaf now. Now that's where I was going is uh, the sense then, it, is it comparable at all to throwing that blue and white jersey on and playing your first NHL game in this? Well, not not even close because, you know, I've grown up in Toronto. I'm a Toronto fan, born and raised, bled blue my whole life. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's been a privilege and an honor to, to be in this organization for two years and I'm going to try and, you know, fulfill my dream and play for, play for them for as long as I can. When you say you're a Toronto boy, that means you have a chance to be around the city in the offseason. Are you a golfer? Do you get to do you get to enjoy yourself uh, with anything that way? Yeah, I golf frequently. I, I can't say that I'm that great, but you know, <laughs> my game's come around in the last couple of years, I think. Well, can you can you at least uh, let us in on the fact that maybe you, you beat the guys you go out with? Uh, sometimes, you know, some guys are better than others. I can't really beat. They'll Phil remain. Or they'll remain. Oh, okay. I was gonna say they'll remain nameless, so we don't uh, have to no, ask them about. Those two guys, I'll give them credit. They're good, but uh, a couple other guys sometimes I get the, the upper hand on them. Uh, now. It was. I guess we found out this morning through doing inter interviews like this that uh, Tyler's a big gamer. Yeah, he plays COD all day. I live with him, so I, uh, you know, I have to deal with his freaking gun shooting the whole get whole day. And you know, I put up with it because I just stay in my room and kind of well, that's my man cave, watch TV in there. So, <laughs> so that's uh, not your cup of tea. It is what it is. You know, we're we're, we're great friends. Great, he's a great roommate. So it's, I just put up with it. What's uh, what's your favorite show? What are you watching when you're at home to relax? Well, Entourage was my favorite show. It ended last Sunday, but. You know, whatever's going on to you. I'm, I'm a sports nut. I'll watch baseball, I'll watch tennis, I'll watch golf, I'll watch football, I'll watch anything that's on TV. Well, you may not be a fan of uh, interacting gamer-wise, but uh, we're hoping you will with the questions from the fans of MapleLeafs.com as we send it over to Matt for a few, if you don't mind. No, no problem. Thanks, Luca, for uh, for doing this. Uh, I know a few weeks ago you were uh, actually at uh, batting practice with the Blue Jays. Yeah. And somebody was asking, uh, you actually got a Jose Bautista signed bat, yeah. so they're just asking uh, what you're going to do with it and what, what you, you know. Talk about that a little bit. Well, I just I just bought a place in the off season and it won't be ready for a year, so I'm just you know I'm gonna let it collect dust in my parents' basement for a year and then uh, I'll put it in a frame and put it in my living room. Now, uh, what was it uh, like for you? Uh, like you said, you had some uh, surgery. Uh, you yeah. couldn't really play a lot last year. What do you? What's your mindset like going into this season? Well, it's you know mentally it's it was a tough year for me. I just have to be confident. You know, trust my game. But I've played in the league before, so I just gotta you know. Uh, try to remember what I did to get to get there before, and try to do the same thing this time around. Now you grew up uh, in Toronto, Leaf Leaf fan growing up. Who was your favorite uh, player? Doug Gilmore. I have a huge portrait above my bed at my parents' house. Uh, you know, I 
Killer was the man growing up. I, you know, I've always looked up to him and tried to hone my game around the way he left it all on the ice. Now, what, you became uh, good friends with a lot, of the, a lot of the Blue Jay players this yeah. year. Uh, what's that relationship like, and how did that all start? You know, it's, it's a funny story. Roy Halladay came back to town, and I'm from Toronto. I couldn't get tickets, and uh, our PR guy called uh, the Jays, and they're like, you know, we have no tickets. And then Aaron Sebia just offered to give me his four tickets, and then I met him after the game, and we kind of hit it off ever since that day. Great. Thank you, Luca, for uh, taking time. Thanks. Well, that's great to know that you're a Jays fan as yeah, well. Yeah. And, and on the on the Doug comment, is that why at least you have one three on your jersey here? It's not quite 93. I didn't, but, uh, I didn't ask for the number. I was, it was given to me, but, you know, I kind of like it. Close. Yeah, yeah. close. Yeah. Uh, Luca, we'll, we'll let you go. And uh, I, we know it's a busy day, but uh, thanks very much for taking some time out for the fans as well. No and problem. Great to catch up with you. Thanks for having me. Look forward to seeing Appreciate you out on the ice tomorrow. Thanks.